Welcome to our channel. I hope you guys are all having a good start to your day and also staying safe. We all know with the coronavirus going on, everyone is being extra cautious and washing their hands. If you guys have been watching our videos this week, you know that I am getting my hair done today, which I'm so excited about. It has been like four or five months. My natural hair color is actually this darker brown. Well, it's gotten darker as I've gotten older. When I was a little kid, I was bright blonde. So I'm actually really curious to see if when we do have kids what our kids hair color is gonna be like because I was really light as a kid Jared's always kind of had that light brown hair as well so we could have some little toe heads you guys running around which would be really fun I'm gonna go in and talk with my hairdresser I'm kind of thinking of maybe going a little bit icier blonde I don't want to do too much because I feel like it's just more healthy if you can go longer in between your colorings comment down below if you guys love going to the salon and getting your hair done and also have you guys ever left the salon not happy as well that's definitely happened to me a few times and that's not the funnest experience crossing my fingers i love how it turns out this girl did my hair the last time so i'm really excited to see what she can do this time because i really liked it so anyways guys i'm gonna head in there and we'll see you in a little bit This is my cute hairdresser. This is Celeste. Hi. She's the best. So we were just discussing what we should do. This is balayage. Doing balayage. We're doing through the bottom area to give you like definition, but like pump up the blonde through the ends. Yay! Because mm -hmm. I'm pretty dark underneath. I haven't colored the underneath of my hair for probably almost a year. I feel like a long, long time. So we're gonna pull some of that through, and then she's got some really awesome plans for up here as well. So I'm excited. It's quite the process though, you guys. How long do you think we'll be here, Celeste? <laughs> well, probably six, I think. About six o'clock, so about three and a half hours. Three and a half hours, guys, but it'll be worth it. I'm Absolutely. excited. She's the best. So here we go. Thank you. All right, guys, so this is the latest look. This is called the aluminum foil look you can cut it to different lengths <laughs> it's when you get your hair done it gets a little crazy so we're still in a foil all up here but all the back has been foiled so we're making progress i can just see jared editing this and he's gonna be laughing so hard but you know this is what you do to get a good hair color and got my eyebrows waxed. I'm a little red, but I love to get my eyebrows waxed and I get my hair done, kind of kill two birds with one stone. And now cute Celeste is gonna rinse out my hair, get all these foils out, and then I'm excited to see the results. She just laid down a warm towel on the neck rest. Like, when does that happen? That's so nice. So this freezing cold. Who else loves getting their hair washed by somebody else? <laughs> It feels so nice. It's the best part of getting your hair done, I feel like. A little later. <laughs> I've never seen that part. That looks cool. Oh my God, that's amazing. Yeah. Mm. Yep, guys, it's my new hair color. <laughs> just washed it so the color is super bright right now she has not put on a toner yet so what a toner does is it makes it a little more like 
cooler tone. So right now it's really bright and yellowy. But what we're doing right now is she is mixing up my Brazilian blowout. Makes your hair really just silky and smooth. And it lasts for like six months. It's awesome. I just got my brows waxed, so I'm looking a little crazy. They look really good. Nice they're all cleaned up now. We'll put on the Brazilian blowout and then we'll show you the toner in the next part. She's putting in the Brazilian blowout formula, the magic potion. <laughs> and basically, so this is what makes your hair super smooth. It lasts for like six months, I would say. Probably like three to six months in there. But literally it makes it so you don't have to even blow dry your hair, your hair stays straight. It just keeps the heat off of it and it makes your hair lay really flat and smooth. So like flyaways and all of that are an issue. It's awesome. So I definitely highly recommend the Brazilian blowout. You should ask your stylist about it. Or if you are in Utah, come see Miss Celeste. Absolutely. And she is at Amara Day Spa and she will give you one and they are amazing. Amazing, amazing. Okay guys, quick update. So let's just put on the toner, Brazilian blowout. It cools it down. So it's not so yellow and brassy, right? Yes. I guess that's what you could call it. Yeah, more natural looking. So more natural. So I'm so excited. So I'm gonna let it air dry. But you guys, Celeste is a rock star. We've been here now almost five hours. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> but we do. You know, we're spending we're spending our Saturday night together. Absolutely. So she's awesome. I can't wait to see the final yeah. results. One hour later. Ta-da! I am back home now and my hair is finally all done. What do you think though? I am pretty excited about it. So as you can tell after they put the toner on it, it definitely cooled it down quite a bit. So it has a lot more cool tones to it. Not the really brassy yellow blonde. But then do you guys see, I also have her smudge out my root. And basically what that means is so when it grows out, it'll just be a lot more natural. I don't have that harsh line right there. As you can tell, she put some blonde down into here as well to kind of just help it all blend really well together. But you guys, I wish you could feel how smooth my hair feels right now. That Brazilian blowout is seriously a game changer. I didn't film the whole process with it, but basically they paint it on, but then she goes through and she blow dries it and then she flat irons it. So this is the final outcome of that. I think she did a really good job. As you can tell, it's just subtle. She added some blonde up through here. I'm curious, what do you think about it? And more so, what this guy thinks about <laughs> it. Guys, I think it looks absolutely amazing. She looks beautiful. Oh, you're sweet. Like, so beautiful. Jeremy, I told him, I was like, on the way home, I called him, I was like, okay. He's like, wow, you're still there? He's like, yeah, sorry. I was like. <laughs> yeah, I was actually getting a little bit worried just to make sure she was home, <laughs> like safe, or I don't know where she was, but. Yeah, my hair takes a long time, <laughs> but I was, I was like. I texted her, I was like, hey, no rush, but you know, how you liking it? Is it going okay? I just didn't want it to be like <laughs> some mess, you know, and have her be all sad, and they're trying to fix it. Because that has happened in the past before. That has happened in the past, yeah. <laughs> you guys, comment down below if any of you guys have ever been through an experience like that. Yeah. But it was so funny. <laughs> on my way home, I called him and I was like, hey, I was like, sorry, my haircut, we took off like five inches and it just took longer. And he kind of laughed. <laughs> no, yeah, I kind of laughed and she's like, oh yeah, it was just like a, just kind of like a quick small trim. Yeah, it was like, you know, like five inches. Like, just yeah. like, took it off. <laughs> I was like a five inch trim. I was like, that's more like a chop, come on. <laughs> oh my gosh. But you guys, my hair is done. I'm feeling like a, a new woman, you could say. I know, her hair looks so good. I cannot get over how pretty she looks. Oh, thanks, cutie. And I'm yeah. really excited because it's gonna grow out really nice, which will be awesome. Anyways, you guys, I've had a fantastic day without Brittany, just been <laughs> living it up. I actually took a much needed nap. I was pretty exhausted. So I took a nap, I did watch a movie, I took Finn out on a little walk. He yeah. was up super early editing this morning. Yeah. He woke up at like 3.30 and was yeah. editing all morning. You need to get your sleep. You gotta keep our immune systems yeah, up yeah. with everything going on. A lot of you guys have been asking about our tests. We were hoping to find that out <gasps> on Monday or Tuesday. Yes, So a couple guys, days. A couple days, we're so excited. So make sure you tune back in, probably on Tuesday's vlog. We should have our results back in. 
We're so, hoping, so we're we'll see. We're so, so excited. We are gonna keep it chill tonight because Brick got home kinda late and I'm still kinda tired. <laughs> <laughs> but before we sign off, you guys, we gotta do our fan faves. Oh yeah. oh yeah, fan faves. So guys, if you haven't checked out our last video, we went on a really fun date night with Dan and Shell, Jared's sister and our brother-in-law, which was so much fun. So Susan James says, love you two, so much fun, and I love that both of you can laugh at yourselves. That's <laughs> such a great quality to have. You four should hang out more. We agree, we do need to hang we out with them We do need to hang out more. We love them. hanging out with them, it's a lot of fun. Our other fan fave over on YouTube is Miss Becky Pinkerton. She said, you four have so much fun and are so funny. Take care, see you next time. Love and blessings. <laughs> thank you, Becky. Yeah, thank you. That's thank you, so Becky, and thank you, you, Susan. Mr. Finn came to say hi. Hey, dude. <laughs> hi, hi, puppy. Yes, hi, puppy. Give, give, give. <laughs> okay, perfect timing, Finn, right on cue. <laughs> he just wanted to close out the vlog with us, huh? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so over on Instagram, you guys, if you're not following us over there, go check us out at Jared and Britt. Our Okay. <laughs> and Finn, we need do you want us to change it to Jared and Britain? Finn? Yeah. Okay. You are so sweet. Oh, you yeah. so much love right now. He's like a soft little pillow. I know. <laughs> so our fan fave over on Jared and Brit is from Jennifer Martinez, Snow Creek Seven. She said, You have such a beautiful family. Every one of you are so sweet and kind. I love watching your videos. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much, Jennifer. That's so yeah, sweet of thank you. Yeah, thank you. That's really, really sweet of you. We definitely have fun making these videos, you guys. So if you're not subscribed, definitely subscribe. Turn on the notification bells because you don't want to miss out on anything. Yeah, guys, we have a lot of fun stuff coming up. And especially, come back to see how our test results go. We love you, and we will see you all next time. See you guys. Love ya. Bye. Bye.